back to CBSC Board Economics. I'm Saddam Hussein here. So we're carrying on with the environmental crisis. We discussed what exactly is environmental, what exactly is environment, what are its functions, what factors led to crisis in environment, what is the carrying capacity of environment, and other topics. Today we see what is the present state of environment explain the supply demand reversal of environmental resources we're discussing about supply and demand for environment demand for environment mean demand for environmental resources maybe the demand for water demand for oxygen demand for many other things maybe anything in the environment and uh, supply and what we get it from the environment it can be anything it can be all kinds of resources what we get it see here broadly we put it here supply demand reversal of environment reversal means now there is a opposite here so under this you have in the past demand was less than supply you know what in the early period of civilization uh, there was no industrial revolution uh, the countries have not become so advanced the demand for environmental uh, goods the demand for uh, goods from the nature was much less compared to the supply much less the supply was much there was plenty of water plenty of air was much much the demand was much less than supply hence it never led to any any kind of crisis in environment but now at present presently demand is more than supply presently we know that the demand for environmental resources is much more than the supply of environmental resources why the demand is more than supplied now because of two reasons number one is population explosion in developing countries number two affluent and developed countries they started to consume more and obviously the demand there is a pressure on environment and they started producing more because of uh, industrial revolution so that's why we say there is a reversal here earlier supply was more than demand for environmental resources now the demand is more than supply that's why it led to a lot of environmental crisis look at this one here explain the supply demand reversal of environmental resources supply demand reversal now it is uh, uh, opposite direction they are moving reversal of supply demand relationship you can see it here reasons for environmental degradation what are the reasons number one in the past demand was less than supply in the earlier days of civilization demand for environmental resources and services was much less than their supply here pollution was within the absorptive capacity of the environment there was not much of pollution within the absorptive capacity of the environment and the rate of resource extraction was less than the rate of regeneration of these resources we were extracting less than what the environment could gen regenerate as a result environmental problems did not arise so there was no simple to put it in simple words in all year civilization the demand for environmental resources was less than the supply of environmental resources we're not dumping so much wastage in environment which the environment cannot absorb and uh, there was no civilization but uh, there was no i mean industrial revolution at the time so the demand was not there supply was more regeneration the environment was much faster than the demand but now presently demand is more than supply in the present period the demand for resources is in for excessive supply that is demand is beyond the rate of regeneration of the resources so we are extracting more than what the environment could generate it's leading to environmental crisis so beyond the rate of regeneration of the resources with the population explosion and with the advent of industrial revolution the pressure on the absorptive capacity of the environment has increased 
tremendously these days it has gone up thus a reversal of supply demand relationship is responsible for degradation of the quality of environment so what we're discussing here this is uh, look on the board carefully explain this supply demand reversal of environmental resources that's the topic is it's a very important topic from the board's point of view reversal of supply demand relationship reason for environmental degradation in the past demand was less than supply in the earlier days of civilization the demand for environmental resources and services was much less than their supply pollution was within the absorptive capacity of the environment and rate of resource extraction was less than the rate of regeneration of these resources as a result environmental problems did not arise but presently now demand is more than supply in the present period the demand for resources is in for excess of supply that is demand is beyond the rate of regeneration of the resources with the population explosion and with the advent of industrial revolution the pressure on the absorptive capacity of the environment has increased tremendously thus a reversal of supply demand relationship is responsible for degradation of quality of environment we are now faced with increased demand for environmental resources and services but the supply is limited due to overuse and misuse hence the environmental issues of waste generation and pollution have become very critical today so this topic reversal role reversal of environmental resources supply demand demand supply so just remember three points number one two points number one is in the earlier periods because in the beginning of the civilization the supply was more than demand because the economies are not well developed the population was within the control so that means environment was regenerating more than what we extract from the environment so there was not much of environmental crisis there was no crisis as such but nowadays the demand for environmental resources is much more than their supply and more because of two reasons one is population explosion and the other is industrial revolution and we are pumping so much wastage in the environment the environment is not able to regenerate then what we extract from the environment it is leading to a lot of environmental crisis such as air pollution water pollution right it leads to uh, what do you call it uh, uh, global warming which is leading to the rise in the uh, water levels in the oceans which are submerging and it is also leading to floods it also leading to melting of glaciers which is very dangerous so that's all we have time for this short video i'm sure you must have enjoyed it this is a very important topic from the board's point of view so learn it uh, the notes is given in the video as the notes is appearing please copy it in your notebook and memorize in case you don't get the video in by watching once keep watching it repeat repeatedly i'm 100% sure you'll get it right okay and whenever you watch it the video you put your phone so that you don't get the distraction from outside and your concentration level will go up and don't forget to subscribe share and like our videos till the very next time I wish you all the best for your board exams goodbye guys